When you think of the essentials of the modern world, the first thing that probably comes to mind is a phone or a computer. But what powers these? Many of the electronic devices we enjoy using wouldn't work without batteries. Some of these devices are our phones, laptops, tablets, and electric cars. On a slightly larger scale, we can even see that some satellites in orbit use batteries. However, these batteries have limitations that affect the level of efficiency we can get from them. That's why scientists have rolled up their sleeves to create a new battery. Ultimately, they managed to produce a battery that has the potential to last for thousands of years and at the same time helps eliminate nuclear waste. How do nuclear diamond batteries, also known as nano diamond, last so long and how do they work? Why was there a need to produce such a thing? Let's get to know the latest technological wonder, diamond batteries together, brought to light by scientists. Lithium ion batteries are the most widely used type of battery in various fields. You are probably watching this video on a device that runs on a lithium ion battery. If you drive an electric car, you can thank lithium ion batteries for that. Similarly, Many energy storage systems use lithium-ion batteries to store electricity to be supplied on demand. Lithium-ion batteries have replaced lead-acid batteries, especially in power-intensive applications, due to their many benefits. There are various types of lithium-ion batteries on the market. This means that the battery needed for the required application can be easily found. Some types of lithium-ion batteries provide high current density, and are ideal for the electronic devices we use daily in our homes. Others provide much higher current levels, making them preferred in large power tools and electric vehicles. However, lithium-ion batteries also have their limitations, and these prevent many of the advances we can make as the human race. For example, lithium-ion batteries are not as robust as other rechargeable technologies. Overcharging them or draining them to the last degree can shorten the life of the batteries. In addition, the electrical current must also be kept within safe limits. Battery safety is provided by protection circuits that cut off the current in situations such as high current and short circuit. In other words, with breakers. The addition of such safety measures not only increases the weight and cost of the device, but also makes maintenance and disposal operations difficult. Whether used in automobiles or electronic devices, lithium ion batteries can catch fire if they are manufactured incorrectly, damaged, or if the software that runs the battery is not designed correctly. The biggest disadvantage of lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles is the use of organic liquid electrolytes, which are volatile and flammable when operating at high temperatures. In addition, an external force, such as a collision, can also lead to chemical leakage. Another major disadvantage of the lithium-ion batteries we use in our daily devices is that they are subject to aging. This depends not only on time, but also on the number and frequency of charge-discharge cycles the battery goes through. Batteries can typically withstand only 500 to 1,000 charge-discharge cycles before their capacity decreases. Although this figure increases with the development of lithium-ion technology, in any case, the batteries need to be replaced and this becomes a problem when it comes to batteries embedded in equipment. Bad thing is that lithium ion batteries age whether they are used or not, that is, even with minimal use, time shows its effect on the device, reducing its working capacity. Lithium ion batteries also have a shipping problem. Many airlines limit the number of lithium ion batteries they take on planes, which means shipping is limited to ships. Airline passengers are generally required to carry their lithium-ion batteries in their carry-on baggage. All lithium-ion batteries shipped separately must be protected with things like protective covers against short circuits. This is important for some large lithium-ion batteries, such as those used in large external batteries. In addition to what we have mentioned, there is also a big cost problem. Especially when it comes to electric cars, the rising cost can be quite annoying. Approximately one-third of the sticker price of any electric vehicle you buy goes to the battery. This makes electric vehicles significantly more expensive than their internal combustion engine counterparts. Even a simple electric vehicle can cost the same as a luxury internal combustion engine vehicle. The production cost of lithium ions is about 40% higher than nickel-cadmium batteries. This is an important factor in mass-produced products, 
where any additional cost can create a significant problem. There are also some limitations on how lithium ion can be used. To get the most out of these types of batteries, it would be wise not to fully charge or discharge the devices. Operating the batteries between 20% and 80% is the most efficient way to use them. Some battery management systems may ensure that the device is never fully charged or discharged. This is because, whether overcharged or discharged, all lithium ions will move away from the electrode, which will cause the electrode to break down faster. Also, lithium ion batteries may not perform very well in extreme cold or heat. For example, the driving range of electric vehicles decreases significantly as the temperature drops. Although lithium ion batteries have been around for many years, they can still be seen as an immature technology by some users, as it is a developing field. Considering that technology is not a stagnant element, this is a disadvantage for the product. As a result, the need for a better battery arose, and scientists began working hard to provide just that. They got what they worked for and introduced humanity to the Nano Diamond battery that promises to completely change the world. Until recently, the concept of a battery that could last for thousands of years seemed like science fiction material. However, there is a growing number of companies and academic researchers working to make this idea a commercial reality. One of the participants in the Nano Diamond battery development studies was NDB, one of the developing companies based in California. The pioneer of the idea, Tom Scott, last year founded a subsidiary called Arkenlight to undertake the commercialization of the Nano Diamond battery concept. Although the company named its new product a Nano Diamond battery, it became known as a Nuclear Diamond, or Nuclear Diamond battery by many. This is because NDB coats the product it obtains with nuclear waste with the diamond it makes. Nano Diamond batteries have a lifespan of 28,000 years. 28,000 years is not just battery life, it's like an eternity for anything we can think of. In the near future, this new product is expected to be a low-carbon power source for everything from airplanes to smartphones. The idea of a nuclear diamond battery was first developed and presented in 2016 by scientists at the University of Bristol. Professor Tom Scott explained at a conference that his team had developed a synthetic diamond that could produce a small electrical current when placed in a radioactive field. The resulting battery can effectively self-charge as the diamond generates a charge when placed near a radioactive source. The Bristol team initially showcased an example where they used nickel-63 as the radiation source, but later opted to use carbon-14, a radioactive version of carbon. It can be said that nuclear diamond batteries have already begun to stand out with their benefits thanks to their role in nuclear waste cleaning. Reactors at the UK's aging nuclear power plants hold large reserves of carbon-14 in graphite blocks. Although carbon-14 is a low-efficiency beta particle emitter, its release into the environment is very risky. Therefore, it must be stored safely in the long term. Scientists in Bristol started working by knowing that the removal and reuse of carbon-14, which is now completely a nuclear waste material, is a valuable opportunity. Using nuclear waste this way is much better than burying it deep in the ground, isn't it? However, many people may be intimidated when nuclear materials are mentioned because of the fear of radiation. But there is no need to worry because nuclear diamond batteries are not dangerous at all. Diamond batteries are a beta voltaic, similar to a solar cell, that converts beta particles into electricity instead of light. Beta voltaic is a technology used to convert the energy emitted by radioactive particles through radioactive decay into electrical energy. Being long-lasting and requiring less maintenance are also among the biggest reasons for preference. The company uses incredibly small nano-diamond layers in the production of nano-diamond batteries. The fact that one nanometer is one billionth of one meter is one of the details that make things more impressive. Diamonds have exceptional thermal conductivity, which makes them ideal for electronic devices. According to an article in the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Houston, diamonds are the best known natural heat conductor and are three to four times more effective than copper or silver. Diamond membranes are produced at high temperatures by chemical vapor deposition using carbon-14 and hydrogen plasma. After obtaining the nanodiamonds, the company combines them with radioactive isotopes obtained from nuclear waste. In particular, 
They are known to use radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium from the waste of radioactive power plants. Single crystal diamonds, a few square millimeters in size, remove heat from radioactively decayed isotopes so quickly that electricity is generated during this process. The construction of special diamonds is an energy-intensive process, so it can cause financial problems. On the other hand, there is no doubt that it is an investment that pays for itself in the long run. Moreover, these multi-layered diamond membranes are designed to prevent radiation leakage and minimize the risk to human health. Although carbon-14 beta particles are energetic, they do not travel very far. When safely placed in a dense mold, such as a diamond, the probability of them emitting radiation that will penetrate human skin becomes negligibly low. While NDB focuses on heavy-duty applications such as electric vehicles, Arkenlight focuses on powering small detectors, medical implant devices, and wireless sensors and devices with nuclear diamond batteries. The company has started to see the diamond battery as one of the facilitator technology products. This also means that they can encourage the development of applications that will not be possible to operate without it. Other micropower devices are completely dependent on external factors as they collect either vibration energy or solar energy. This technology does not need external sources or conditions. The only thing you need to worry about is the device breaking down and having to be replaced. Bristol researchers tested the power and durability of nuclear diamond batteries atop a volcano in 2018. In the experiment, Arkenlight beta-voltaic prototypes were used to power sensors at a remote monitoring station known as the Dragon Egg. The eggs were designed to be sent to an active volcano by drone, where they monitored humidity, vibration, and toxic gas emissions. Thanks to the durable nature of diamond, nuclear diamond batteries can be made to serve longer, even in the most extreme environments, by assisting in power management in satellites, telescopes, or spacecraft. One of the best candidates for this is the James Webb Space Telescope, as a 20-year lifespan due to the amount of fuel it carries. Thanks to nuclear diamond batteries, the Space Observation Station can continue to provide humanity with stunning photographs of the universe forever. In a world that is becoming increasingly dependent on external inputs, Arkenlight's batteries seem to be able to provide plug and forget, especially for everyday electronic devices. According to Arkenlight CEO Morgan Boardman, this technology also provides attractive emission savings. For example, by using the preferred resources in the production of an AAA battery, approximately 2.5 kilograms of carbon can be offset in the production of diamond batteries with an energy density equivalent to them. Arkenlight currently aims to establish a factory at one of the decommissioned nuclear power plants in southwest England or North Wales. In this way, the company will have easy access to carbon-14 isotopes for battery production. Boardman predicts that if all goes well, diamond batteries will start appearing in devices as early as 2024. It seems possible that in as little as one year after that, we will be able to buy a smartwatch powered by a nuclear diamond battery that will outlive us and our grandchildren. In conclusion, nuclear diamond batteries represent a fascinating and innovative technology with tremendous potential for the future. Although they are still in the early stages of development, the promise of a long-lasting and reliable power source without the need for frequent maintenance or replacement is truly remarkable. In addition, the fact that nuclear diamond batteries can potentially last for thousands of years makes them exciting possibilities for applications such as space probes, deep sea research, and even long-term energy storage for cities. Although there are still many challenges to overcome, the potential benefits of this technology make it a worthwhile area of research and development to pursue. As we continue to explore the potential of nuclear diamond batteries, we can usher in a new era that will change the way we store and use energy. Now, what do you think about this new technology under development? Can diamond batteries really be among the indispensables of the future? You can share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thanks for your time. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.